the time when you had to struggle to find a great but affordable gaming monitor for your console or PC is finally over. Asus are releasing a bunch of new gaming monitors, which I quote, will have Strix quality performance at tough prices. Now today we're taking a look at the Asus RG Strix XG27 ACS to see how it performs. So let's get into it. So let's get started with what is in the box and then we can go to the on paper specs as well as how it actually performs. In the box you will find the monitor and stand but then you also have a display cable, your power cord, an ROG pouch and stickers plus some paperwork which we all read of course. In terms of features this is a 27 inch 1440p monitor which is for me a great size and aspect ratio for most use cases especially pc gaming but then you also have this massive 180 hertz refresh rate which is a great middle ground between 144 hertz which for me is sort of the minimum that i would go for in a gaming monitor and then of course 240 or above which some other people actually use as well now this is an ips panel with a lightning fast one millisecond response time it supports hdr and vrr which is of course great for console gamers and is certified for HDR 400 which isn't the brightest but is still bright enough for general rooms which don't get too much light. Now in terms of connections you do have a USB-C port which also supplies power which is great for clean minimal setups with laptops on your desk but then you also have an HDMI port as well as a display port so this monitor should have you covered with all of the connection types. It is also G-Sync compatible, has gaming AI built in, plus it is great for content creation as well as it is really color accurate. So on paper at least, this monitor is a great all round for your desk, whether you wanna use it for content creation, general PC gaming or console gaming as well. Now, before we jump to actually testing this monitor, one thing I do need to give Asus credit for is their monitor menus. They make it so easy to make changes to your settings with a great UI, plus they have so many settings that you can change, which on some monitors aren't possible or it's just hard to find because the menu system is just hard to understand or navigate. So having this menu system really is great on this monitor. But let's start with testing, and firstly, we'll do console gaming. So like I mentioned before, you do have HDR and VRR, which are features that a lot of people are actually looking for, but sometimes are missing in TVs, especially on the VRR side. Now, yes, this is only a 1440p monitor, so you aren't getting the most out of your next-gen consoles like PS5 or Xbox Series X, as you're not getting that full 4K. But if you're playing games like Call of Duty, having it actually run in a lower resolution at a higher refresh rate is gonna be more beneficial than it actually running in 4K. Now I do have to say that playing with this monitor over the last couple of days, I haven't really been bothered by the fact that it isn't 4K, mainly because it is smaller than a TV would be, so you still have good sharpness, but 27 inches is still a good size for me, especially if you're gonna be using it as an on-desk monitor. Now when it comes to PC gaming, this is honestly one of the best choices that you can possibly make. For me, a 27 inch 1440p high refresh rate monitor is probably the best sort of monitor to get for most people as it is a really great size for an on-desk monitor which will be fairly close to your face. Plus you get that slight increase in quality from 1080p to 2K without having to get a major upgrade on your GPU side as well to render all of your games in 4K. And then with this one being 180 hertz, you still get super smooth motion, making this a beast for competitive gaming, but also for general gaming as well. Now I play a lot of shooters like Apex Legends, The Finals, Counter-Strike, and even Helldivers. And from playing these games for the last couple of days, I really had a great time. And switching to my 144 hertz monitor is getting harder and harder each day. So maybe I actually need to make the switch to this Asus monitor as well. And then for the general user and use case, as well as content creator, this is also a really great choice for you as well. You do have a bunch of different connection types. So you can have your laptop connected via the USB-C cable. You can have your PC connected via DisplayPort. And then of course your console via an HDMI cable, which means you can just have this one monitor on your desk and everything that you have can run off of this one device. And then, like I said before, because this monitor is really color accurate, it makes a great monitor for content creators and even creatives in general, as you'll be able to create content and even graphics that are color accurate, meaning that the skew between different devices will be less, so your content will look great for more people. Plus it will be the right colors in the places 
where it needs to be those actual accurate colors. So overall for me, this monitor is great for PC gamers and content creators that are also looking for a monitor that they could potentially use for their consoles as well. Now, of course, if you are someone that's looking to play games like Call of Duty on your PS5 with VRR and high refresh rate, then this is also still gonna be a really great option for you, as this is gonna be a much better choice than actually going out and trying to find a TV with all of these features, as TVs with high refresh rate and VRR can actually get quite expensive. Now, this doesn't mean that this isn't a great monitor for general console gamers as well. I have been using this with my PS5 for the last couple of days, and I really haven't noticed all that big of a change between the 4K and the 1440p. So even though the snob in me wishes that it was 4K, you don't really actually notice the difference all that much. But what are your thoughts on the new ASUS ROG Strix XG27 ACS? Is this a monitor that you can use yourself or is 4K a must for you. For me, I honestly love the size and the refresh rate. And if I was in the market for a new monitor, this would definitely be on the top of my list next to some sort of 4K monitor, as well as some sort of OLED monitor, of course. But then as always, until next time, cheers.